Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my dysfunctional, disorganised kitchen. No, I'm not going to cook, although I did have something recently in the oven, but I'll explain that later. So, this video is about, um, well, making a bamboo pen. So, after watching illustrator named Casper make a pen from bamboo, I was inspired to make one myself and I joked with them when I after I'd watched his video I left a comment to say it would look so much better with some feathers stuck on it or a bed perched on it and he said well try it out and then my mind went into overdrive like it normally does loads of ideas flying around in my head so I ordered some bamboo from Amazon and it arrived today here it is I think it's, um, do you know if, uh, when you put it in plant pots to put your plants around it or whatever. And I thought, can you see, I thought it was hollow, I thought bamboo was hollow in the middle. I mean, there's one piece, it's a little bit of a hole, but um, yeah, so that's the bamboo and it cost about £5 for how many pieces did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Yes, yeah, so, as I say, it arrived today, and Casper made it look so easy on his video, but if you're anything like me, clumsy and clueless, I would ask an adult for help. Because my first video, I was, um, I showed you how to, I'll get the, this is the tools that... I used saws. I used both of them. Um, this one, I marked the uh, bamboo, the size of the pen that I wanted, about this size. I don't know how many centimeters because I haven't measured. Um, so I marked the pen, uh, the pen, the cane, bamboo cane, and went to saw it, and it wouldn't uh, saw. And it took me a minute to find out that um, the blade was on upside down. I mean, it came like that when I bought it. So um, that must be like for safety reasons, but duh. Um, yeah, so I, I sliced it and then I marked down here to make it like a fountain pen tip. And I, oh... Tried to get it at an angle like Casper did on his video and it didn't work very well. So in the end I had to use my trusty knife cutter. My trusty finger cutter, sorry. Um, and I cut my finger and it wasn't even on the knife itself. It was um, trying to get the blades out of the packaging. Would you believe it? And just lay straight across. Anyway, there was blood everywhere, so I've deleted that video. But you wouldn't have got any useful information me doing this because it was all out of focus and wasn't very good. So if you want to know how to make the actual pen itself, I would suggest you go over to Illustrator Named Casper and he will show you how to do that. Right, I'll just move these out the way because no doubt I'll end up chopping my arm off. Oh, just pause you for a second, Ziggy's on the prowl. Right, so I'll just show you on this bit. This is the piece that I cut the pen from. And as you can see, it's not hollow. So I thought I would attach some clay to it and do like some texture on it. Um, I'll show you my designs. I mean, they're not very good, but I can understand them. I'll move these out the way. It's um, getting rather messy around here. Oh, look. Oh, that. Right. So, these are the designs I did. Um, do I need to go in a bit more? 
First of all, I thought about putting a snake wrapped around it, or maybe just something simple like a key hanging from it, or maybe something a bit more complex. Uh, that's supposed to be a dragon, by the way. I was going to do a dragon wrapped around it. Um, this is a, a tentacle. Um, this one's just like a load of feathers on the top. Thought it would be interesting to put a few like normal feathers and a few uh, peacock feathers. That would look nice. Um, this one, steampunk with a hat, feather in the hat and some cogs and stuff. Um, this one was just a really simple one. Um, just clay on it and a bit of texture so it's like easy to grip, to hold on so your fingers aren't slipping. Because sometimes they would if it was clear. And uh, this one, I thought about wrapping a uh, vine around it and adding some flowers. So I'll just put that to the side. So this is what I come up with. I mean, you might think it's a bit naff, but... Um, see, what I had, the problem is, with adding the clay... I mean, these bamboo sticks are very light, but once you add the clay, it becomes a bit too top-heavy. I suppose it depends on where you hold the pen. For I'd be holding it, like, further down, so uh, but if you were to hold it here, it's fine. So, I added some, um, where is it, Fimo clay brown, because I wanted it to look like a tree. Anyway, it was a bit too dark, so then I added some caramel brown, just bits of it to blend in, and then I done like a texture on it. It's supposed to simulate um, tree bark, but I'm not that knowledgeable on what tree bark looks like, but it looks all okay, I think. Um, and then I put some green, it's a uh, female clay by the way, but you can probably see by the packaging. I don't normally work with this. I normally work with Super Sculpey. But I thought it'll save on painting it when, and when you put the colour clay on. So I wrapped some green around it. So it's like a vine. And I added a bit of texture. Because when you do that, it pushes the clay into the clay underneath. So it's secure. And then I was going to add some, because I've got some different colours. I've got yellow and pink and white i ordered these from maybe um about a week ago you got 10 packets for 20 quid which i thought was all right i have got lords but um it's years old and it takes quite a lot of time to need it and that and i just wanted to do something quickly so yes I didn't bother adding the flowers on. I mean, I can do it at a later date if I'm just going to use this pen for decoration. But um, with I say, with it getting um, top heavy, I thought I'd better stop there because I do want to use this to demonstrate putting the ink on. Um, I don't know. I don't think I mentioned where's the ink. And I don't know if you know, but the bamboo sticks are quite smooth. Almost like they've been treated with varnish, but I don't think that's the case. These are just natural. So what I had to do was um, use some sandpaper. Don't use this stuff. This is the really fine stuff. I got this to wear uh, sand some paper clay down. Because as you can see, it's no good. It wears away pretty quickly and it just has no effect on this. So I used this. Um, I don't know if that's the name of it. It says P150. Probably is. I used this and it was very good and it removed all the smoothness. So the um, that's be a better surface for the clay to stick to. And then I also scored it. Just pretend this is a knife. I also scored up and down it. And made little nicks in it, tiny little nicks, um, to make it better for the clay to stick to. And as you can see, it's worked wonders. Right. 
So, I mean, it's pretty simple, uh, the brown. I just conditioned it, uh, rolled it into a snake-like shape, and then went over it with this, because I wanted it very, very thin, and then just put it on uh, this side and the other side, and then just rub the um, seam so you couldn't see the seam. The same with the green, rolled it in like a snake, uh, put it on and pressed it around. I mean, you don't want anything to look perfect, because nothing in nature is perfect, is it? So, I mean, as I say, I could do all them designs uh, that I've uh, sketched up in the book. Um, I think it would look quite nice, even if you don't use the pen, just like putting a jar, just for decoration. Um, on your desk or wherever but I did use this as you can see and as you can see it's not um, perfection itself um, I just raked a bit of that um, I don't know what you call it inside the it was like soft inside the cane I raked some of that out and I tried to follow the instructions that Casper gave but didn't go to plan but I'll show you this. You're probably seeing it when I open my sketchbook up. Um, when I tried it out, I was quite amazed that one dip created all these lines. I mean, you can see where it's running out of ink, but I mean, how many lines is that? Oh, look at my glasses. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Nine lines before it ran out of ink. But then I realised I wasn't using ink. I'll show you what I was using. It's Ecoline liquid watercolour. So I don't know if that is different from ink. Liquid watercolour. Brilliant colours. Yes, yeah, just watercolour. It's not ink, but it shows you you can use it with pens and stuff. So maybe this works. A lot differently than ink so I have got some ink that I got in a scroller box alcohol ink and this really old bottle of um, Windsor Newton ink it's not brown so I thought I'll give it a bash and see what happens but I mean if it doesn't work with the ink well um, Works perfectly fine with the Eco, um, what did I say it was? Eco line liquid watercolour. So let me see. Oh no. Right. Palette's mucky, but I can use this bit. I'm not precious. Right, what colour is that? That looks like a red, so we want to go with a blue to contrast with what I've put down already. Oh dear. Just put your own paws and open this, because no doubt I will make a mess. Just as I thought, I made a mess, and this stuff is quite nasty. It smells to high heaven. thought I was going to pass out from the stench. But I don't think that's going to work anyway because that's a dip pen that I've made and I've just put it in the palette. So that's no good. So I'm going to have to use the um, Windsor Newton. And I don't want to use that on me bamboo anyway. It might disintegrate it. But the colour's quite nice. But I don't want to use something that's going to make me... Oof. Oof. Hi. Right, so let me get the lid off. Oh my lord. No, I'm gonna have to get me other inks. Just can't take the lid off that. It's a very old bottle by the way, but I have got no strength. Right, back again. 
So these are the inks I'm going to be using. Um, I bought these about a year or two ago and have never used them. But um, I'll be able to have an excuse to use them for Inktober because I've never ever done Inktober before. And this year with a group of friends, we're all doing it. So I thought I will do it too. Right, let me see. I'll use green, my favourite colour. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Emerald green. What's a brilliant green? Oh, the bottles are really cute as well. Right. Place it down and turn it off. Don't want to make a mess. So, I'm just thinking now that um, because I've had this in the oven and I tried it out before it went in the oven, I hope that doesn't stop it from working. But, let me see. And first of all, I'm going to move these out of the way. Oh, look at that. Yellow. I didn't know you could get yellowing. I got two packets of, um, how many did you get in it? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I got um, two packs of these. Bought them from eBay. Somebody was selling them. About £25. How much are they normally? I don't know. Doesn't say. Right. So let's have a go at dipping. Not sure how much to put on, but obviously not too much because it'll go all over. Right. What a hindrance with this plaster on. Oh, that doesn't feel um, as good. Is the watercolour? The eco line. Oh, I much prefer the eco line. It's only um, going like half a line before it's thingy, you know. See you recite this way on with the two lines. Huh. Now, I wouldn't have thought it would uh, make any difference with it being ink and the eco line because I mean it's both liquid isn't it? Strange. But I mean it works. Oh well that's seeming to hold more. Maybe it was because when I put it in the oven it's um I don't know cooked it. I mean, it's all right to use for effect, so. I mean, it makes very um, thick lines at first and then it goes on. You can turn it around and make a skinnier line. Or the two lines were this. Oh yeah, that's a, I like that effect. Ooh, mooring. Yeah, she can get all creative, so um, I thought this would be a hindrance, having a nib like that, but it's not.
Yeah, like their effect. It's almost like a like a ribbon. Hmm. Now should I try another colour? Oops. Where's the lid gone? Right. Put your on pause while I just rinse this under the tap. Now here's a tip for you. Don't dry it on one of your decent uh, on one of your decent tea towels, cause it does stain. And I mean that's not cracked right the way up. It's um, a bit came loose, and I just pulled it and then cut it off. Right, next colour. Hmm, let me see. Oh, well, I'll go with black. See, I don't really want to go with uh, black and white um, with the ink tour because um, I prefer colour. And if I need shadowing and stuff, I don't think I could achieve that just with the black. Right, no, I hope black's not going to mess it all up. Let me see, see if I can write my name. Oh yes. Oh, I'm sort of liking the black. I've never done the sniff test at all on these inks. Oh, no smell. Brilliant. Oh, of course there are other stuff I can still smell it. Toxic. Oh, well, I mean, the effect's all right. I mean, sometimes you don't want one solid line. In the ink, uh, the black ink seems to be lasting better than the colour. Right, let's see. Oh, Ziggy wants me chair. Let's see whether, can you see? I mean, with the two lines, the two nibs, I think it will take some practice. When I was first making this, before I put the green on, an image just popped in my head. It reminded me of Captain Caveman when I put the uh, top bit of clay around there. So I thought, ooh, I might make a Captain Caveman out of clay. I used to love that as a kid. Oh, look, too much on. Oh yes, I like that. I can see these wearing down over time. It's a good job I bought six of them. See that gap's getting even bigger. I mean, all you need is the main nib, don't you? And if I was better at sketching, I'd do a drawn. But that's a, what's that, an octagon? Oh, I don't know. There's a triangle and a circle. It's more like a peach. Yes, it works perfectly fine. So I'm sure I'll be using this in uh, me, some of my sketches. Yeah, the black ink seems to last longer than the, um, mind you, I did have excess on it. And I suppose it would be fine to, I mean, dip it in the bottle first of all, 
and then you could put it in a palette, a small ball, and just to top it up, just dip it in the. Um, I wonder if I should dry the alcohol ink. Yeah, may as well. Put your own paws and I'll clean this off. Oh, the black ink stained the pen, but I just think it had more interest. Right, here's the smelly stuff. Oh. Oh, look, it's dried up. Oh, I don't want to add more. I'll just, is there a little drop here? Oh, my God, it smells like nail varnish remover. Oh, that's just nasty. Oh, stick there on the windowsill. Right. Hmm. Well. I won't be using that anyway because it stinks. Oof. No, didn't have enough on, I'm not going to put any more in. So, well, I quite like using that pen. Thank you, Casper, for showing me how to make it. And I will make some more of them. I suppose every time I do it, it'll get better. But I don't mind that it's quite nice. Yeah, so... In the jar, looks fine. Right, while we're on topic, but sort of on topic, just move this out the way. Oh, too much clutter, I hate all this clutter. Right, just show you this. So, my friend Gabby, Gabby Chic Dolls, I'm quite surprised this morning when I received this parcel and it was just get out, everything's out the box. Right. This was wrapped in this gorgeous paper. These pens. And it was tied with a bow. So, she sent me there. I've uh, messaged her to say thank you. And it was such a surprise. And she said, I know you love surprises. And you'll be all set up for Inktober. So she sent me um, a Posca pen. You know, when I was um, trying me gel pens, those, what do they call them? Just a gel pen, white. And I just couldn't get a good effect off them and I never thought about using a Posca because Posca goes over anything. So what nib is it, does it tell you? It's 0 0.7. Um, and I don't know what these ones are. I'll just take my glasses off. Oh, is there a gold micron? Never seen them, were there? Let's see. No, it's black, but... Well, I quite like that. The gold bit. Quite posh. What does PN mean? Answers on a postcard, please. Archival ink, Pigma Micron PN. Oh, never seen them once before. Oh, really nice. Thank you, Gabby. I'm very spoiled. Oh, I like that. Chunky monkey. Mm, very nice. And also what was in the box was um let's see. It's very disorganized. This pen. And it's a Pentel brush. Absolutely love brush pens. We got one in a scrawler box. Oh, and it was absolutely gorgeous, but very expensive. And I hope this wasn't expensive, Gary, sending it to me. Yeah, so I am all set. I've got me inks and I've got me pens and I've got loads of paper. Oh, that feels nice. Oh, so I wonder if you've got to... Well, I'll have to read the instructions, Warner. You probably have to shake this. 
and what's there in it? Oh, it's a cartridge, brush pen cartridge. So it'll have the same effect as a, like a fountain pen. Oh. But I will read the instructions thoroughly. And then in this box, am I in too far? Yes, there. In this box, she sent me sharing is caring. It is, because I love sharing. And then these are like little, um, what you call them? Are they called sequin things? Normally like all different colours and that's the back of them. And you stick them onto your work. I've got some tweezers and that to do with that. And a pack of uh, lace. Oh, I love lace. And some ribbons. Some more of these sequins, these are like um, ovals. Then some fabric, because I make art dolls. Oh, that's nice fabric. And a little bag. I'm gonna have to take this plaster off, it's annoying me. Oh, what's that? Oh, they're nice. Glass beads. Oh, I like them. Little flowers in. And some blue ribbon. This wasn't in the box, but I'll show you this. I don't suppose you're interested. It's for me sewing machine. It's a magnetic seam guide because I've wanted one for ages. Oh, uh, here's some more. Uh... Oh, what's these? I like little stars and stuff. I suppose they work the same way as the sequins. And some lace. But look at this. She made this card for me. It's absolutely gorgeous. It looks like her as well. Just Johnny Creations for you. And there's her name, Gabby. That's really nice. And it says, Hi Johnny, thank you for your kindness and friendship. I hope you like the gifts. You are awesome. I don't think I'm awesome, Gabby. But thank you. Oh look, Ziggy's coming to... Oh, I'll just have to pause you. He's going to walk on that ink. Oh, what a nightmare, nearly stood in me ink. He was going to the window to have a bit of a sniff, and that's where that ink is. Yes, yeah, so... Thank you, Gabby. I really appreciate this gift, and it was a really nice surprise. And I do love surprises. You're so kind. Uh, so if you want to go on to Gabby's channel, it's Gabby Chic Dolls. Uh, and I did, I'll put the details down below of um, illustrator named Casper because his video is very useful. He'll show you how to make the pen. So I think that's all I've got to say. Let me have a look. Oh, I'll just show you this. I don't know if I told you before. Oh, tell you what. So not organised. I better put the lid on this ink because I will have it everywhere. Um. When you finish using the Fimo, obviously it won't go back in the packets because you've ripped it. Um, so store it in Tupperware tubs, like, ooh, like this. Or put it in one of those freezer bags, the Ziploc bags. But I put them in some jam jars as well as Tupperware jars. And then you can easily see it, store it on your craft shelf. I mean, it doesn't dry out, it queues in the oven. Well, just get a bit um, tough to work on. And I'm just dropping everything all over the floor. And I just need to go and clean up. Because everything's doing my head in now. I mean, look at this for clutter. Nightmare. So, thank you for watching. Johnny signing out. See you, bye.